Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. The world recognizes this figure as an intellectual and renowned writer in the fields of religion, philosophy, and history. Her Muslim name is Maryam Jamila. Maryam Jamila is a female Islamic scholar who has been influential in the world and has shaken the West from the 20th to the 21st century. Maryam Jamila was born in New York City, United States, on May 24, 1934. Maryam Jamila had a profound interest in the areas of religion, philosophy, history, anthropology, sociology, and biology. She originated from a Jewish family of American nationality, raised in Westchester, a small and prosperous town located in the suburbs of New York City. Maryam Jamila's father, Herbert S. Marcus, was a businessman. Her original name was Margaret Marcus. The name Mariam Jamila was bestowed upon her by Sheikh Daoud Ahmad Faisal, the head of the Islamic Mission of America, after she embraced Islam at the age of 27. As a child, Mariam Jamila was a sensitive, stubborn girl who was somewhat difficult to socialize with. However, she was very intelligent. At the age of eight, she aspired to be a scientist and wanted to invent an airplane operated by a portable engine. During her school years, she was the smartest child in her class. Her reading far exceeded the curriculum of her school. The public library in New York became a second home to her. By the age of 12, she had read numerous books on knowledge and encyclopedias. She also read books about the Arab people and Muslims, including The Lance of Kanana by Harry W. French. She then wrote a book at the age of 14 titled Ahmad Khalil, which is about the life of a Palestinian child. After graduating high school in 1952, she continued her education at New York University, majoring in humanities, but did not complete her studies due to severe illness. She delved into Islam by reading the works of Islamic scholars such as Marmaduke Pickthall's translation of the Quran and Muhammad Assad's book, Islam at the Crossroads. She later wrote the book, Islam versus the West. She also corresponded with Islamic figures such as Abul Ala al Maududi, a prominent scholar from Pakistan. Maryam Jamila openly converted to Islam on the occasion of Eid al Adha on May 24, 1961, at the Islamic Mission in Brooklyn, United States. She learned the prayer recitations from Dr. Nuruddin Shoreba of Al-Azhar University, Egypt. In 1966, Maryam Jamila settled in Pakistan after being invited by Abul Ala al-Maududi. She married Yusuf Khan, the daily manager of Jamiat al-Islam founded by Abul Ala al-Maududi. Before converting to Islam, Maryam Jamila studied various religions. Maryam Jamila is renowned for being a female scholar who consistently offers sharp critiques of secularist thought. The West refers to Maryam Jamila as a fundamentalist Islamic figure. Maryam Jamila wrote numerous articles that were published in The Islamic Review and The Muslim Digest magazines. She authored articles critically reviewing the book Islam in Modern History by Professor Wilfred Cantwell Smith, director of the Islamic Institute at McGill University, Montreal, Canada. Maryam Jamila opposed the view that secularism and westernization are compatible with Islam. Maryam Jamila also critiqued the thoughts of prominent Islamic figures such as Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, who emphasized Western science and philosophy, as well as Muhammad Abdu and Taha Hussein. 
She also opposed the president of Tunisia, Habib Bourguiba, who stated that fasting during the month of Ramadan was an obstacle to Tunisia's economic development. In the international Islamic world today, Maryam Jamila is known as a female writer who possesses a sharp pen in exposing Western civilization that is contrary to Islamic civilization. Maryam Jamila passed away on October 31, 2012 in Lahore, Pakistan. Although her body has perished, her thoughts remain eternal and adorn the intellectual treasury of the Muslim community. Her thoughts on Islamic politics remain a reference in both the Islamic and Western worlds to this day. Maryam Jamila, of Jewish descent and originally of the Jewish faith, managed to establish herself in Islamic history as an influential intellectual. Therefore, it is fitting that Muslim women today should emulate Maryam Jamila. Maryam Jamila, originally named Margaret Marcus, was an American Jewish woman who converted to Islam and became a prominent Islamic scholar and writer. She was known for her critical views on Western civilization and secularism, advocating for Islamic principles. Jamila's writings and thoughts have had a lasting impact on both Islamic and Western societies. Nationalism is incompatible with Islam, and the Muslim League was only Muslim nationalism and not Islam. Well, that impressed me. And then there was also Malana's refutation of the Veneer Report in 1954. He sent me. I was impressed with that. We hope this story has inspired you. If you enjoyed learning about Maryam Jamila's remarkable journey, please like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating tales. Until next time, farewell and peace be upon you.